so welcome to my first video on Sumigo Pro which is an app that I would highly recommend if you want to improve your Go playing. So basically you come into it, well download it, it's free, you come into it and you've got daily puzzles um, and what you have to do is try and solve the puzzles and there's six every day and then there's some adverts at the bottom. So this is what I do each day and it really helps me to focus, learn new skills and helps me to be able to kill things when I play for real. So let's go. Easy problem one. I'll just move myself over here. Right, so we are going to be black. It says black to play in the top there. Um, so basically it looks like we're going to have to connect the black stones here to the black stones here. Okay, so let's try. No, that didn't work. So you can undo one move or go back to the start. Okay. Um, it might be that we can't connect the two. So we might just try and make this group live. No, not doing too well so far. Um, let's try here. There you go, solved. Okay, so what happened was, when we played here, we threatened to, um, if white didn't answer here, where it did, we threatened to do that, which connects it anyway. Okay, so if it's taken me a while to solve one, I'll blame it on the pressure of my first video solving these. Um, I'll sometimes do it again so I can see properly how to do it. Then you press the button at the bottom right, this arrow here, to move on. Okay, so this time it's black to play again and we are trying to kill the white group. Now I know if I play here, white might take this two stones but I can retake it and that means there's no eye space here. He's got one eye there, but if I, basically, if he tries to make another eye over here, I can stop him. And you can read out what would happen. That's a false eye. Okay, once you've done the easy ones, press the back button. Um, Let's solve it again. Okay, press the... Um, how do we get out of this? Oh, you press the back button on your phone. Sorry. Okay, and now you can see we've got the two ticks. It's always nice when you solve one straight away without having to um, mess around and read things out and cheat. So if I've got a bit of time on my hands, I might actually read it out in my head rather than just putting the stones down to test it. Because in real life, in a real game, you can't just start putting stones down. Your opponent would get a bit annoyed about that. Um, so let's count some liberties. This group has one, two, three liberties. And the white group has one, two, three. It's our turn to play, so that means that we should be able to take his liberties away and kill him. Threaten to kill. Um, done. Okay, so I was one step ahead in that liberty race. Next one. Okay, so we're black to play. We're trying to kill white again. Now, just to give you a hint over here, what you're looking to try and do in a game is to make certain shapes inside your opponent's area. So, can you see this shape? It's like a Tetris piece. That's quite an important shape. Okay, let's say that black was surrounded by white, so I'm not going to put them all out there. If black plays here, 
he's got three eyes, right? If white plays here, he's only got one eye because white has gone bang in the middle and turned this whole space into just one big space. The reason is, imagine if it was surrounded, white could just keep on um, playing and eventually kill it. If black plays there, white jumps in again and makes sure it's just one eye. If this is a bit too tricky for your current level, don't worry too much. You will understand that at some point. So I'm basically looking in the gap here to see where can I play to stop white having two eyes or more and just have one big eye. So I'm going to try here. Okay, so when you think you've done something good and it says wrong, that means there's something better you can do. It doesn't mean you're bad or um, terrible. It means there's things that you can do that are better. The result I just got was a co, which would be a co for killing um, white. But you must be able to do it without having a co. So let's try this. That's the same situation, just the other way around. Hmm. Wrong. So this isn't quite the Tetris piece that I was talking about. So if I draw out the Tetris piece, it's the reverse of that. So it's an empty shape, basically. Okay. Um, let's try there. wrong again. That's actually called something called uh, Seki, which means it's neither um, white's points or black's points, but that might be another day to explain. Basically, if white plays here, he gets killed by black. If white plays here, gets killed by black. White plays there, same situation. So it's a bit of a stalemate. If black plays here, then white will just kill it and have two eyes. One, two. Okay. So that's what Seki is. Wrong. Right. Um, I could try things out for ages, but there's this question mark down here, which puts in green what you should play. You can click it again to remove that. So I, I knew that was good. The reason I knew that was a good first move, if white gets it, can you see this eye it's made here? Okay, that's good for white. So I had a feeling that was the first move. Now I'm just not being clever enough to get the next move. So let's cheat again. Okay, that's cool. Because if we come here, what I hadn't read out in my head is white can't play there without just being killed straight away. So that's the good thing about this little app. Uh, you'll see things that you think, oh yeah, nice. Remember my tip? I'll play it out again now to make sure I know. Yeah, that makes sense. Back button on your phone. We've got our ticks on the medium. Hard puzzles now. And the hard puzzles, let me warn you, can get very, very hard indeed. Okay, I like to just mess about and try and try and solve these. Well, obviously, I try and solve them, but you know what I mean. Yeah, if you press a question mark at a point and it only gives you red, you've gone wrong before then. Okay. You trust me, you'll see some really cool ways to kill things. See? That kills white because if it plays here, black takes straight away. That's called a snapback. Top tip. Okay, um, remember what I said, I'll do it again to make sure I've learnt what it's saying. And obviously I haven't. Um, yeah, and you can play things out by 
putting stones on and seeing where the computer plays um, and where you would respond. You might see me playing away because that just gives you freedom to do what you want without the computer algorithm chucking stuff down like that. If you chuck two anywhere that stupid moves, you can then play anywhere you want to play and take both colour turns. Okay, moving on. Um, hmm, I quite liked that personally, but it doesn't quite do the trick. So again, we've got the problem of a very small area for black to try and make two eye spaces. That gives you one eye space, but white can take the other eye space away here. Mm-hmm. It would be a shame if I have to keep cheating while I'm trying to show you guys on YouTube, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I quite like that as an initial move because it's correct. Now I was attacking here. If I attack here, I see what's going to happen. I just read it out in my head. If I play here, white will play here. I can now play there, which Atari's white, and he'll he'll be able to save himself, but that will give me the option to make the two eyes, one, two, that I needed. So you learn a lot from this, and it's you'll notice if you play high-level players, like Dan players, they're basically like the computer version of this. They will be able to survive in spaces you don't think they can, and they'll be able to kill you in spaces you don't think they can. So watch out for that. Thanks for watching, guys. My first video on uh, Sumigo Pro. I'll make some more, I think. I quite enjoyed that. Like I said, I play it every single day and get it ticked off. And uh, I think I get a reminder on my phone from the app to say six new puzzles. Yeah, so um, download it. Have a go. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video, subscribe, press the bell so you get notified when I put more videos on, which I'm sure to be doing. See ya.